if you're managing projects, you should have a really good in-depth understanding of the Gantt charts. They are one of the most important and the most essential types of charts every project manager should know and understand in order to efficiently track their project progress. In this example, you're going to learn how to create Gantt charts in Microsoft Excel using conditional formatting. And in the same time, you'll learn how to create a baseline schedule, which is your plan start and end date, and also an actual schedule for your project. In this case, as you see in here, these lines are the baseline schedule. So basically it was planned that the project should start on August 24th of 2025 while in reality the project started on 27th. And if I update any of these dates in here, and for example, if I change the planned start date of this activity from 24th of August to 25th, as you can see, the baseline schedule will move. And also if the planned end date is now 29th of August, now you see that your baseline schedule moved. The same applies for your actual schedule or the project schedule. For example, the last activity that we have in here, it is the testing, which is supposed to be started on 22nd of September, 2025. If I change this to 20th of September, as you can see, it will move. And the end date for this one will be 22nd, as you notice, Everything is dynamic, and this tool will help you to manage your projects really effectively. So let's get started and let me show you the step-by-step -step process of how to create a Gantt chart like this. So I have my project start dates and end date and everything. So the project starts on 25th of August and the actual end is 22nd of November. So I'll copy this date from here and paste it here. As you can see, 25th of August. In order to effectively and efficiently use the space, what I will do is go to orientation and in here, I'll rotate the text upwards. And also let's make this smaller. Then I'll drag it until the end here. And the next step in here would be to give this a little bit of light background color in order to differentiate it with our Gantt chart area. Now, we need to actually plot two types of Gantt charts. One would be for the plan start and end, another would be for the actual start and end. For that purpose, what I will do is first, I'll go and select the Gantt chart area from here. Now, in the conditional formatting, I'll add a new rule and select use a formula to determine which cells to format. In here, write down equal sign and then and open parenthesis if this cell which is G1, is greater or equal to the planned start date. In here, please make sure that to remove the dollar sign from beginning of the G, since we don't want to lock the, set, the column number in here, and we don't want to lock the row number in here. And the next condition would be if the same G$1 or G1 is smaller or equal to the planned end date, which is D2. So I'll write down dollar sign in order to lock the column D, and then D and two, close parenthesis, and then go to formatting. Since this is our planned schedule, we need the underline in here. So for that purpose, I'll pick the underline from here, and I can change the colors as well. For example, if I want to pick a red color for this, and then click OK, and click OK. So as you can see, we have our project baseline schedule in here. Now the next step is to add our actual schedule here. Again, the same way that we did the benchmark schedule from here, go to conditional format and new rule and select the last one, write down equal sign and open parenthesis and then the same cell, just make sure to remove this from the column since we will be dragging the formula to the right we don't want this column to be locked then if this is greater or equal to our actual start date which is e2 in this case we'll make sure to lock the column name and dollar sign e2 and again if g dollar one is greater is smaller or equal to 
our actual end date, which is F2. Write down absolute F2 and close parenthesis. Go to formatting. In this case, we'll add a fill. And let's pick this color. Click OK and OK. So now the yellow chart in here shows our actual status of the project, while the underline, the black lines in here, show your planned or your benchmark schedule. And it also shows you the deviation that you made from your plan. And this brings us to the end of our video today. If you found the content of the video informative and helpful, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also following us on Instagram and LinkedIn for more project management, civil engineering, and data analysis tips and insights. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.